What's going on, apes? I could not wait for market open this Monday morning. I don't know how excited you were, but I was extremely excited after that shill ass video, the shillest fucking video I think I've ever seen in this entire AMC movement came out over the weekend and it made me want Monday morning market open to happen so bad so I could absolutely smash that fucking buy button and buy more shares. When shit like that is released, it just only further strengthens and increases my conviction because, and yes, I'm talking about the trade video. Of course, I'm talking about the trade video. You probably saw it. And when I see shit like that personally, it makes me just get so much more convicted because why would they try so hard to change our minds and change our conviction if there wasn't something there, if there wasn't something to hide and there wasn't something for them to get away with. Trey, if you're watching this, I highly doubt you are, but for what it's worth, dude, I used to respect the hell out of you. You were an OG man from the beginning. You put out awesome videos. I love you, man. But I've had my suspicions recently, the last, I don't know, a couple months or so, maybe even a little bit longer, I've had my sus suspicions and have a lot of other people as well about you being compromised and that video that you put out on the weekend completely cemented the fact in my mind that you are compromised, you are a fucking shill, you're a smart dude and I don't care what anybody thinks, whether you like Trey or not, I have no respect for the guy anymore at all, but I will still admit that I know he knows, and I know that he is a smart guy. He is a smart, very intelligent guy. And to watch that rambling, 20-some fucking minutes of rambling of just... It's almost like he knew that what he was saying was just dumb because it was pure nonsense. He led his, his driving argument and his opening statement was the market cap theory. That theory has been absolutely debunked so many times. It's so childish to even think that the market cap theory is why AMC stock couldn't hit this crazy high price ceiling of $100,000. Now, to be fair, okay, full transparency, do I believe AMC will or could hit $100,000 a share? Those are two very different things. I think it could. Yes, in theory, it could hit $100,000 a share based on supply and demand. However, I don't think it will because the fuckery will prevent it. Whether the buy button's taken away, trading halts, major manipulation, I don't think we will ever see $100,000 a share because the fuckery will not let it happen. However, that doesn't mean that it could not happen. It's possible, and I do think it's possible based on supply and demand. I just don't think it will happen. But anyways, this market cap theory that Trey's leading with and just going on and on and on about and sounding so fucking stupid, which must have been so hard for him to do because, again, I think he's a smart guy. But it holds no weight. It's been debunked multiple, multiple times. It is a fundamental law in the world and in this universe of value that something is worth what a buyer is willing to pay for it. Stock market is no different. And this squeeze play is that's what it's going to come down to is supply and demand. If there is a ton and ton of shares that need to be bought back, which there are, and ones that we don't even actually know about because we don't know the true size of all the synthetics and the dark pools and, and all that crap. But if there's a ton that need to be bought back and only so many available to be bought back, that's simple supply and demand. And that is what will drive the share price to hopefully the moon or Pluto or wherever it goes. It has nothing to do with market cap. This is a fundamental law of all value. Stocks have and always will be priced. Their, their share price and their value will always be priced based on what a buyer is willing to pay. It's no different than anything. A home, for example, you can list your home for $2 million if you want. Doesn't mean a buyer's gonna pay it. It's worth what somebody pays for it. A fucking pack of gum in the corner store at a 7-Eleven is the same thing. The shopkeeper could put that pack of gum at $10. They can put it at whatever price they want. But if a buyer's not willing to pay $10 for a pack of gum, maybe one day we will with inflation the way it's going. Uh, but anyways, if a buyer's not willing to pay $10 for a pack of gum, it's not worth that. Now, market value is not to be confused with intrinsic value because these are two totally different things as well. Things do have intrinsic value. However, what they are bought and paid for in the marketplace is the market value. And that has and always will be. It's a fundamental law of value. It's what a buyer is willing to pay for. So, 
I don't know. I just, I just cannot believe that video was just like, wow, this guy is so compromised. If you haven't figured it out already either, um, a lot of this is going on these, this anchoring of, you know, these price targets and these brackets and these artificially low, low numbers. If it's not obvious to you that people are compromised and they're total fucking shills, then you need to wake up to this because you are being conditioned. You are being conditioned. The only way there is a set price for this thing is if there's some kind of government intervention and the government steps in or the DTC, whoever, whoever, the sex, somebody steps in and just says, hey guys, here's the settlement. Take it or leave it. This is the price you're getting paid for your shares. That's it. Otherwise, it's going to be up to supply and demand to a certain extent because like I said before, I don't think we'll see $100,000 because the fuckery will get involved and will manipulate manipulate this thing. However, I think we are going to see some crazy price action when and if this thing finally rips and finally moazes. Stay strong, my friends. Stay convicted. Ignore the shills. Trey, man, I just, I'm so disappointed. I am so disappointed that you have been bought and compromised. And it was just so obvious in that video. It's so completely obvious. But it makes me stronger and more convicted as ever because I fucking smashed that buy button this morning and bought more shares. And I am not leaving until this thing plays its course. That's all I got. Peace.